Oh my god, these bastards. You can't be gang affiliated at Legoland. Uh, I did agree. not like the people. people Yo! Oh. Have some respect to your customers, Jesus. <laughs> What's up everyone, welcome to a new vlog and there is a lot going on this week as I prepare to go to a Lego convention but also have tons of new Lego sets coming in the mail. All right, so first things first, I need that right there. But why is your UCS R2D2 not built in on the shelf? Well, when I reviewed the UCS R2D2 back in 2021, I actually borrowed Just Too Good set. I didn't have one built of my own. I had bought one sealed at the time but I just never got around to building it because I had already reviewed it, didn't need it, didn't think I would need it for a long time. But Lego is of course really releasing a $100 R2-D2 buildable character. And so I have to prepare to make a comparison, which means this needs to be built. I'm gonna just pay my brother to do it because I can use my time better elsewhere, especially on a crunchy week like this. So these are the sets that we have coming in. These are other videos I wanna do. Of course, I'm going to a convention, so I will be gone from Thursday to Wednesday, basically seven full days. And so I'm trying to schedule out what's gonna go out when and what videos I need to prepare. So I was preparing for my whatnot stream this afternoon. And of course we have some sets coming in that I'm very excited to get. And so I checked the tracking numbers this morning. First package with the Tanta 4 MIDI skill set is in Orlando, so that should be delivered Monday. I know it says on hold, but they don't deliver on the weekends, so it should be here in a couple of days. The amount of money I paid for this, the CEO should be delivering this to me. Next one, UPS, much cheaper uh, UPS in Germany. So this one arrived in Germany. This is the uh, Invisible Hand MIDI scale, and then the R2D2 Antantive Hallway is stopped in the same place in Germany for a non-UPS labor dispute. And I found one person on Reddit that said they had had an experience with this recently. I don't know what that means. Uh, I asked someone, you know, how long ago their thing was because they said it only delayed it by an extra day. But I saw some people talking about it from like a year ago that said it delayed it for a week. So I'm really sad about this. I hope it gets resolved. I have no idea what it is. I couldn't find any information from a quick Google search online. So we'll see. I should have done DHL. I should have gone with my gut because I've always done DHL for international like this and they've always come through. UPS is not making a good name for themselves with me right now. That's crazy. I'm doing the thing like when you have a cold and you look up all the symptoms and then it tells you you're going to die. Yeah, this is basically that. Uh, it says theirs was stalled for five days two years ago. That's great. And now I just realized the other UPS one that isn't delayed was missing its commercial invoice. And I don't know if that's going to delay it. Oh, man. <laughs> We're going to forget about that and just hope everything shows up Monday and everything's fine. So I had a little time before my auction and came up to the Orlando Brickco warehouse. And I've decided to buy this to use for a giveaway. I just thought it'd be something cool and unique that a lot of people wouldn't have. So just another fun one. I was looking at some of the other stuff, but I kind of already blew the budget on the Venator and then some. So this is all just gravy extra stuff for you guys. So we'll throw this in there though. I'm also getting these raccoons for their legs. Comment below if you know what I'm going to use their legs for. I guess I'll sell the rest of the raccoon. I don't know. Didn't really think that far. You want to buy a raccoon back? No legs? Um. <laughs> no? I want, I want these. This is probably all I'm going to buy. My brother's here. He's here to build R2-D2. It's a beauty. Yeah, he's going to partially build R2-D2. And then in the meantime, I'm going to work on trying to print all these whatnot labels because that's an absurd amount of stuff in there. So we'll get that built. Hopefully the other set will come in this week. It's a little after 8 a.m. on Monday morning and the first package just arrived. Early a.m. Express Plus. That's me. So that's the package that's just gotten delivered. The DHL one still says it's on hold, even though it should definitely go out for delivery like right now i'm not sure and then the other ups one just says it will be forwarded to ups in destination city still and that's been at least 12 to 15 hours or something that has been saying that and that's ridiculous because it should have delivered the same day and time as this one ups is out here making no sense but it's time to open up this first box so this is our package from xavier so thank you so much to xavier uh for getting this one out to me it's the Revenge of the Sith. I can't believe I'm saying that. Invisible hand. Wow. Looks great. I mean, I guess I knew that from the pictures, but I can't wait to build it. I want to know how small it is. I want to know all the quirks and features, any Easter eggs. Boy, is that exciting. I've got about two hours before I've got to pick Garrett up at the airport. The set is now open and ready to be built, but I think I'm going to go get some Chick-fil-A breakfast just so I have something in my stomach for the day because it's going to be so hectic. So we're going to come back and start this after. We're going to go pick up Garrett go to the Lego store, come back home, try to get as much of that review done as possible. Monday at noon, Disney Springs is packed. Nobody has jobs. Also, the last time I was in a Lego store was maybe Brick Fair. 
Okay, that's not <laughs> unreasonable. That's five, six months ago. You yeah, don't have a reason was, to go. That's a while. Uh, this is his first time at Disney Springs ever. Wait, no, maybe not ever. Yes. Did yes. you go? No. I, I didn't go to Disney Springs. No. Black Panther is on sale for two hundred and ten dollars. I'm surprised they haven't gone lower. Forty percent is their rock bottom price, I guess. They really don't want to sell for less. A lot of repeats on the shelves. I really want to get this thing. I don't yeah, know how to get it, but I want cool. it really badly. It's kind of lame that they like couldn't make it. Like they made the Falcon's case. This is still the Falcon case, so you see Bestman and stuff, but they didn't make the Venator oh, case. Oh yeah, that's you know. I don't know. But they don't even have any Venators, so it's not even like they're gonna sell any. The selection's kind of slim. It's a holiday diorama. It's, you have any? Have you never even seen this set? Uh, I There's think no maybe way. I have. I don't keep it's up with. It's twenty. Money. I know you don't. That's why it's surprising. Twenty-one dollars. I yeah. think I have to buy a bunch. More of them. More. I'll take them all. That's crazy, actually. Six, four, six, five, eight. None for the kids. I know. Well, there's plenty. Oh my god, they gave Obi Wan the high ground. You see that? <laughs> oh my god, these bastards. They did what I. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm seeing. What are you seeing? It's not boxes. What actually, I seeing? have no idea. Uh, they uh, increased the price. Oh. Uh, they increased the price. Uh, it was 16 and 9. And now it's 18 and 10. That's tough. That is the worst. They just got the same parts that they've had for 12 years. Wow. They increased the price and didn't increase the quality. What do you know? There's no way this is bigger than the small cup was. No, it's smaller. There's no way. It's smaller, right? The boxes here are pretty easy to put together. You can literally do it with one hand. It just goes right in. So I was worried these would be difficult to like mold into shape, but it was not. So we're gonna get one of each. I need to know if it's a better or worse value. Well, we know it's a worse value because the price went up regardless. So there's that. Garrett was just playing in the pit. So he just won a race, but oh, come here, come here, come here. I gotta show you something. A little further back. Not right. Chewbacca. Oh. So I ended up getting uh, 11 of them. I, am, I couldn't help myself there. It's too good of a deal. Why would you not? And it's been a month after Christmas. Nobody wants them for good reason, but I wanted them. First impressions on Legoland or Lego store, whatever. Uh, you know, it was interesting. Biggest Lego store I've been to, but too no, many people. I, I did agree. not like the people. people Yo, that's a little. Well, okay. No, all What's right, wrong I, with the people? There's too many people on this earth. We need a new plague. The next DHL package has arrived. So we're down to just the one package that's still in Germany that they are taking forever to deliver which might not deliver before I leave for the convention. And that's tragic, but no wonder this was so expensive. This box is huge for what I know is inside. This guy like so overkilled it on the bubble wrap packaging. It's amazing. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks not that great. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like it that much. I think you said the Falcon was your least favorite. No, the Falcon's my favorite. I think, oh, this I think the, the cockpit or the nose it's too part, small. it's too small. Way it's too small. The, but when I say in the video, people will say, why are you always complaining? But look, a, a normal person thinks that too. So yes. you can't tell me I'm saying something wrong. Maybe it's not too small. I don't know. I'm Maybe. looking at this very small <laughs> picture of it. And it looks reasonable from that angle, but it's like, I don't know. I'll have to look at more reference material. Just compared to the other Lego sets though, which is usually what I base my yeah. opinion off of, it's small. Yeah, I, like, so. I think the Falcon's the best, then maybe the invisible hand than this. But yeah, I don't know. bottom of the barrel here. No, nope. uh, You can't say anything. We gotta open the sets first. Definitely gotta build it. So for those that watched the Tantive review, just know I filmed this review while people were packing orders behind me. Or I filmed the intro for it, let's just say that, without audio. I'm just filming the B-roll. It sounds less impressive every time I add anything to it. So I'll stop. Garrett finished the invisible hand and he said he likes it. Uh, you can say he likes it, I guess. Yes, I do, I do <laughs> like it. You know, at first I thought it was a little short and stubby, but the length looks pretty nice. I do like it. That's what she said. Okay. My only gripe is with the top, it looks a little flat and curt. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird shape, definitely. Yeah, it's a but really weird shape. other than that, I think the thing looks pretty nice. All right, fellas, huge update here from the Culver's parking lot. My UPS package that was stuck in Germany has departed the country or the place, whatever, it's on the way. And essentially, there's a chance that it will be here tomorrow morning. So the whatnot shipping is nearly done as I've returned home. I just need to sign a few things. We're just going through like the final orders that had any question marks with them. Look at all of these, you guys are amazing. Thank you for the support. Even though it's late, my brother should be wrapping up R2 soon. Not before I. Throwing in the hand, the towel, you throwing in the towel? I am, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use the bag in 20 minutes. I might have to fill it up. 
finish it. You're gonna have to. Oh no. We have two more bags. You're gonna have to pay him. Pay him, Matt. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You, you will have to cut him the check. He's missing a head. It's a whole head. My brother crumpled the R2. Okay, it's not that crumpled. Up. No, 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 it's not too bad, but I can make I it can, work. I'll probably buy a replacement anyway or something. Do you want me to put it on? Or no, not? yeah, put it on. Yeah. Okay, I can just get another piece, whatever. All right. but, and he also missed a bunch of pieces. Those two by twos, those ain't. Yep. Man, not good he's enough. getting fired. Yes. So it's 2.30 a.m. right now. I finished the intros for The Invisible Hand and The Tantive, and by some miracle, my package arrived in Kentucky two hours ago, and it updated to say it would be delivered Tuesday by 10.30 a.m., which is eight hours from now. So uh, I'm at a crossroads. I want to finish these videos, but I don't know. I think I might stay up and try to get one done. It's just about 9 a.m. I got a fantastic update. My package should be delivered in an hour or two. So we're gonna have everything I ordered. I'm, I'm really happy. I, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but UPS somehow did it. Somehow, some way, UPS delivered. <laughs> it's here. Let's go, there it is. Also, Garrett asked if, he, if I had anything for him to do. Do you wanna show people what you were doing? Oh, yes. <laughs> Ryan said I could take inventory. So <laughs> you look here, we're doing, uh, we first finished Blue Milk. Wait, did you do both boxes? Oh, I, is there another box? There's the bin under there. Okay, I will look. Right there, right there, right there's, there. I did that, that one. one. And then there's, there's and the that ton one. up there. Okay, gotcha. I was like, 76, we're in trouble. So I'll, I'll do uh, both those. But okay. yeah, I'll be doing the inventory for all this stuff. So fun. <laughs> if you buy something from our shop, he counted it. Yes. <laughs> Just so you know. All right, I was in the middle of doing my Tantive uh, review B-roll, um, trying to finish that video. I was hoping to finish that and the Invisible Ham before this stuff showed up, but I did not, so... We have now four, or we'll have four ongoing, oh my God, review projects at once. Now, there's one thing I regret about this. The guy offered me a second Tana 4 hallway and in the imagery online, they make use of one and I realized I should have bought it just for that, but I did only buy the one from him. So one Tana 4 hallway, beautiful, sorry, beautiful. We have the actually all around beautiful hundred dollar. This is a nice box. Hundred dollar R three two. So we obviously just built the UCS one or twenty twenty one one over the last couple of days. My brother did, and so now we'll have this one. And yeah, we got a lot of work to do today, tomorrow, and a little bit the next day before we go to the convention. All right, I gotta get to work. Wait, that's your thumbnail. Hold on. <laughs> I was just about to say, <laughs> this hold on. This is the thumbnail. Good catch. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Pizza time. Midnight pizza. All right, that looks pretty good, not gonna lie. I've been editing the intros for the reviews, so I've been working on that, but figured I needed some food tonight. Otherwise, I was gonna go mad. All right, that is one review completely done, even though it's not the review I'm posting today because I don't want the Tantive 4 to be the first one. So finish video number one. I can get that out of my way. I think I'm gonna do the invisible hand today. So tomorrow will be the hallway, and then the next day will be R2-D2, and then the Tantive 4... MIDI scale will actually be the last one on Friday, and then the comparison on Saturday, then the Rakuten video Sunday, and yeah. Back from lunch, what I need to do now is film all the intro footage for the R2-D2. So that's like the box pans, the close-up shots of the number, and the unboxing, and then give Garrett the set to build. And at 5.14 p.m., review number two is done. So the Tantiv is uploaded, but it's not uploading today. The Invisible Hand will be uploading today. And then the next one I want to finish is going to be the hallway because I want that to be tomorrow's one. We should probably just check in on Garrett and see if he's done with R2 already. I'm just about done. But you're not done yet. I am literally will be done in about two minutes. We are I done. ain't got that kind of time. All right, I will finish. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't going to believe it. It's 1.30 a.m. And I just finished recording the rest of this R2-D2 review. So I should be able to have this edited and done by like... 2 a.m. at the absolute latest, uploaded on YouTube, and then privated scheduled for like a couple days from now. And then I still have to do the Tanta 4 tonight. I cannot wait for the morning. It's gonna be going out early in the morning. So that one's also gotta be done tonight, man, which really sucks because that's probably the most intense uh, review I have to do as far as like work for it. But maybe I'll try to be a little lazy with it. If, if this review feels worse than the other ones, it's because I made it at 3 a.m. I think Garrett is probably asleep downstairs at this point. But I'm just up here grinding it out because uh, it's what it's about, man. It's what it's about. Yeah, I just I just got done with this. And I'm right now the good, the bad, and the ugly for 
uh, fives there so that everyone can be upset with me for just saying the truth about what's good and bad about a figure. It don't matter how many times the haters call me names, I'm not gonna stop. Lego Star Wars needs to make better clone troopers. They are in a terrible place. It's 4.30 a.m. I have done all of the talking, basically. I just need to finish filming all of the B-roll, so we're getting there. Four reviews in one day is no joke, and I didn't even finish the R2 review. I still have to have Pearson do all the B-roll for that tomorrow for like the four minutes that I didn't finish of it. It's 5.55 a.m. and I think I am done. I'm gonna export it and pray that everything is good and right. Finish videos and go. Unbelievably, it is 6 a.m. This is uploading, I'm going to sleep. We're going to Legoland tomorrow, see you then. All right, Garrett, are we ready to go to Legoland? I'm ready. You don't look Lego ready. Land. You're not wearing the right shirt. Oh. Can't You can't be gang affiliated at Legoland. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do we got here? Yeah, he was like, I'm gonna bring it to Atlanta. And I'm like, oh, we could just go here. Yeah, It's yeah. gonna be the same thing. Yep. Well, I got a lot of sets I gotta get rid of, but these are just some. Oh, this is it. That's... We came all this way for this. Yeah, hey, I, I, I want to be much Genji. Space, okay? Sorry, I'll say it again. I want to be Genji. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the room. Right, let's this see. room what is crazy. Look to your right. Holy. Star Wars sections down on your left. No, I like the stuff. adult sets. That's what the I like. adult sets? Yeah, all I, need, so, I, need, I, need, I need like that Transformers. That's what I need. You need that yeah. Luke's Land Speeder adult set. I do need that. Ultimate Collector Series. No, I probably actually don't. I, I don't know if I'm actually buying that one. I'm sure you vlog people would love to see this more in depth, but I don't have time to do that because we got to get to Legoland. So he said uh, 115 total? Yeah, yeah 115 store. I think we should take it to Atlanta and see what they offer us. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> After about 90 minutes of driving, we've made it to Legoland. Legoland is literally doesn't even have anyone taking money for parking right now. At 3.30, I guess no one comes to the park this time of day? Absolutely nobody. That's insane. I, Dude, not even a person with a wand to tell me where to park. It literally might be the most beautiful day of the year and we're gonna get to walk around Legoland for it 60 minutes. It is 69 minutes. degrees and sunny. It is gorgeous. It actually is sick. <laughs> you were on I the told dock. you, I, I knew exactly what it was. No security either. <laughs> Guess they just don't hire anyone. And there's the sign. Ooh, what is that? See that car? Oh. They just got an LDD render of this. Or are they actually gonna have it, I guess? It's time to be the first to sit behind the wheel and for a chance to win some prizes. Ugh, they got a roof on it. No. Dude, you gotta sign up to be first. <laughs> $127 for a day ticket to Legoland. They don't even offer like an afternoon discount on like a Wednesday when <laughs> they're not wild. busy at all. All right, we're here for the big shop though. They have like still 2010 sets actually here. Old Hallmark ornaments. That's really cool. They have all like the Christmas I've stuff still, even, even though it's not Christmas season. I've never even seen this before. I know. Oh, well, you have to go to Hallmark or Legoland. Okay. Yeah, they carry like weird stuff here sometimes. You just never know what you'll find. Like Halloween, still in season here. Ooh. Never ends. That's perfect. I can fit in You could that. use that for the convention, yeah. Yeah. I had yeah. that one. It was cool. Oh. I'm going to ride this. Well, it was pretty cool. We don't have time. We can't ride anything. Oh, yeah. So I found this Legoland visor. I think, I think this is for me. It's my calling. It actually looks really good on me. You get Legoland driving school. So you're gonna tell me I can't rock that? Yeah. Nice. I might have to come back for it. We'll see. So I found this hat, and I think it's technically a Star Wars hat. It's got like classic space logo, space helmet with the Benny helmet, and then it's got a lightsaber, and it's by Legoland. So this is like a Star Wars Legoland hat. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to have that or not. Now the one section that truly matters, Star Wars. They have a way better selection than the Lego store did. We're really here to look at parts, not sets. We can get sets anywhere, so we're gonna go look at parts. They don't have any like retired sets we need. Eight ninety nine for a quarter pound, yeah. It's gonna be bags, not uh, boxes or cups. Yes. Dude, they actually have all the lights on in here. Oh, they changed the store a lot. The pick a brick wall looks much nicer, and I think if you guys remember like some of the last times I was here, it looked like really bad. Like there was bad lighting and everything, and it looked like sad, but this looks a lot less sad. What do you think? Looks pretty decent. Yeah. So I think my main buy here is gonna be these. These I don't think are easy to get otherwise, so I figure I may as well grab some while I can. I don't know what the heck I'll use them for, but you know me, I just buy the parts. Otherwise, I wasn't seeing any like good parts anywhere. This part right here has never been in a Lego set. Really? Never, never in that color, so I'm gonna get those. Oh yeah, you got That's them. crazy. Yeah. I was trying to figure out, um, what was the other one? Dude, where did it go? There's a two by two slope. It was in a nice kind of this color. I was also thinking about these. They also look pretty amazing to me. Ooh, so that's... 
All right, Garrett put all his parts in one bag. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have a, a wonderful time sorting. Maybe need about a quarter of what I just bought, just, but. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> no, I need zero actually, none of it. I'm getting one last part. I want this like dark orange two by two slope and 45 degrees it looks really nice. We're gonna do a quick run through another part of the park so Garrett can experience it. Oh yes. You spend a hundred bucks, I spent like 300, not bad. We're gonna skip Ninjago land, not cause I don't like Ninjago, but I'm not a fan. Oh my God, there's a fire hydrant letting the water out. <laughs> tourist behavior, dude. Yes. Tourist behavior. Hey, I'm a movie guy, right? Yeah, I know, I know. They have one pizza and it's between pepperoni and cheese. So I don't know which one it is cause I can't see in the box. And I don't want to touch the box. Okay, so you like put your pizza and the drink on the thing and it scans it and it tells you what it is. I've seen this at the Orlando Magic game. It's kind of neat. I didn't realize that's what it was. But $12 for that pizza, that's insane. All right, one bite, everyone knows the rules. I may have already taken a bite. But uh, yeah, this looks like it's been out here for like, this was $12, by the way. It looks like it's been sitting in there for like four hours. Um, didn't even slice. But I'll just bite where I bit before. Tastes like it's been there four hours. 5.3 out of 10, but for $12, zero. Zero for $12, that's crazy. Thoughts? Well, you know, the park is cool, but- um, Didn't ride any rides, so Did not fair. ride any rides, so we can't really review that. You know, I could say they were great, you know, in my head, but yeah, I don't know. It was good though. I just, for $12, you gotta have better pizza. Yeah. That's, that I mean, is, that's abhorrent. That was one of the worst slices of pizza I've ever had in my life, that's for sure. $12, like have some respect to your customers, Jesus. <laughs> so while we were at Legoland, Pearson filmed a good bit of B-roll for this R2-D2 video, like this section here, he did like the shots for, except I wanted to add in a shot of me like physically removing the little leg there. So this R2 review is now done and ready to export 4K, 75372 R2-D2 review. And then we will go ahead and press next and to finish videos. And just like that, it'll be rendering. And then in the meantime, I've been working on some of the uh, work that he needs to do while I am gone, as well as preparing to do the uh, Rakuten Lego Sets for Tiger in 2024 video, yay. So that is it for my hectic day. Tomorrow, we're going to Atlanta BrickCon. That will be the next vlog. So thank you very much for watching this one and I'll see you then. I don't wanna play with you anymore.